Hi friends! We are getting closer and closer to Easter. As we travel through the season of Lent preparing for Easter Sunday, there are many stories in the Bible of Jesus' final days on earth. One of them shows an act of love, not by Jesus, but to Jesus. Soon before Passover, Jesus traveled to the town of Bethany, where Lazarus lived. Do you remember Lazarus, the man that Jesus raised from the dead? A dinner was given in Jesus' honor that night. Lazarus' sister, Mary, did something special at that dinner. She took a very expensive jar of perfume and poured it on Jesus' feet, then wiped them with her hair. Now, that might seem a little odd to us these days. If our feet are dirty, we have bathtubs, showers, even water hoses outside to rinse them off. We could also get any kind of soap we want at the store. Getting clean is much easier now than it was in Jesus' time. He had been traveling on dirt roads, and there wasn't a shower waiting for him at Lazarus' house. Mary's simple act of washing Jesus' feet was actually a very special act. She was showing him how much she loved him, how much she respected him. When you think of Jesus' life, you think of all that he did. He gave and he gave and he gave. In fact, he was about to give his greatest gift in a matter of days by this time. Jesus loved everyone unconditionally, but not everyone loved him. At this time, people were plotting against him, but Mary stopped and took time to love him. How often do you stop and take time to love Jesus? You don't have to wash his feet with your hair. You don't have to buy expensive perfume for him. Loving Jesus can be a simple act. It can be a thank you. It can be a song that you sing to worship Him. It can be a few minutes sitting and thinking about all that He's done in your life. It can be time spent in devotion with your Bible. It can be in prayer. How will you show Jesus some love this week? See you next week.